Here we are. My third project. I just couldn't help myself. Um, again, I went and bought these two tanks to work on my third project for the YMCA school. Um, this is what we're going to do. Uh, due to the fact that Petco couldn't come through with the two geckos, um, the school actually got a dragon lizard instead. Um, it's a beautiful lizard, but um, it eats about 20 crickets a day. So, it does kind of get a little pricey. Um, as you can see, uh, you can buy these at Petco. Comes with 36 crickets. Um, it can cost about $6 with tax. Um, so, I mean, it's not that expensive. Not that cheap, but 20 crickets a day, yeah, it could add up. So this is what the third project is about. Uh, it's about breathing the crickets. So this tank, this is the setup that I have. And this is the adult tank. Um, they're on now. Um, this is where this tank, they're gonna breed, they're gonna mate. And the females are gonna, and they're doing it already. Uh, the females uh, are gonna lay the eggs in this soil compartment that I have with the mesh. Um, the reason why we put the mesh is because um, the males have the tendency to eat the eggs. So uh, in order to prevent that, we put a mesh. Um, as you can see, the females already, they're uh, doing great. They're laying their eggs in the soil. Um, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have like nine females already laying eggs, which is awesome. Um, so I have many compartments that I made from uh, toilet paper rolls. Also, egg corners are great. It gives them uh, enough privacy in order to mate. Um, so now, maybe in two weeks, uh, once the eggs are all buried in the soil, we're gonna change the soil compartment, I mean, to this tank, which is the incubating tank. So, we're gonna hopefully have a, a heat lamp on top, which is gonna incubate the eggs in the soil, and they're gonna hatch. Once they're hatched, I have plenty of compartments for the babies to hide and grow healthy and then once they're growing they're um, adults we're gonna do the same cycle we're gonna change them from there to the adult tank and hopefully the cycle will start again where they start mating breeding laying the eggs and, and you get the point we just do the cycle over and over and over and hopefully we'll have enough crickets in order to feed the lizard and save money so yep this is the third project that's gonna be donated by me to the YMCA preschool I hope they they like it the, the kids have loved the previous two projects the turtle aquarium tank and the dragon lizard 3d background tank they've loved it it was a great outcome um, so now this is the third project. Help them out. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.